nothing beats the long-lasting freshness and quality taste of Clover Fresh Milk. Made with love by Clover. Happy fourth day of the week. Happy Thursday, guys. Happy Thursday, <laughs> Tims. It's quarter to the weekend, and to get you in the mood for what's to come, we've got a recipe for you to try at home and treat yourself to something delicious. Our clove of fresh milk and honey cake. Really, girl? Yes, girlfriend. Like the milk of honey, milk and honey. Well, yes, this the is... the land of milk, milk and, and honey. honey. This is it. I must say, you're looking gorgeous Thank today. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Yes, you look queen. amazing. Purple this is your color. It's just for you. <laughs> Thank you. So, we going to do a milk and honey cake. So okay. what you need is flour, baking soda, baking powder, the normal. Mm -hmm. We've got some butter here that we're going to cream with the sugar. And then for the milk and the honey, we've got our beautiful clover here. And we're going to add a bit of vinegar because the recipe normally wants buttermilk, but okay. we're going to make our own with yes. our clover and the honey and the vanilla. Okay. Voila. And you've handed me some eggs that I'm going to be whisking for probably half <laughs> of this entire segment. <laughs> so I'm going to no. get started with that. No, I need to whisk this food. I need to <laughs> cream the butter and the sugar so I'm just going to add it in here and this is going to make a noise it's going to be a bit messy as okay. well so before just... we get into the noise guys if you want the recipe go to afternoonexpress.ca <laughs> so I'm going to cream this and you want this to be light and fluffy I'm going to do this for a little while here we go if we were at home, we would have carried on for another 10 minutes Dude, to get it light right? and fluffy. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to eat, get me those eggies. Are you Look ready at for me? Arm. <laughs> Superwoman. Superwoman. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do this by hand. So with the eggs, you just add it a little bit of added time. So I'm going to okay. add a bit here. Let me just put that on the side. Is there a reason why you add it gradually and like not all at once? Yes, otherwise it just splits. And oh. with my luck, it's probably going to split today <laughs> on television. Of all days, yeah. right? <laughs> but what I'm going to do and what helps, if you add a bit of flour in between. Ah. So I've got my flour here and I've got my baking powder and my baking soda okay. that I'm going to add. And I'm just going to mix this through. In if you're really a good baker, I'm not. You have to <laughs> sift this. <laughs> but you know, I don't like sifting. I think it's for the birds. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I, I, I can't really say. I don't bake much, so um, yeah. I'm taking instruction from you right now. <laughs> <laughs> so when you add a bit of flour, it's not readily going to split. You see that? Of now course. it came together. Okay. So I'm going to add the rest of the eggs. And, <laughs> and now I'm going to make our buttermilk. So we're going to have... milk and honey. For the milk and honey. And we're using our clover. Remember, when you buy milk, the blue bottle. The blue bottle. We're going to... That's about a cup there. Okay. Yeah. 55 quality test. I'm making... I'm doing one test now and I see it's definitely a cup. So yeah. definitely did one. You, did you test that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add the vinegar. I'm also going to add my vanilla to this. Obviously, when you add the vinegar, guys, it no longer stays fresh for up to 18 days. So leave your milk <laughs> as fresh as it, is, as it is in the fridge. Only add the vinegar once you're ready to bake. Yeah. Can I have you all whisk there, sure. too? Because mine is definitely. now in the batter. And you just mix this all together. Ooh. Look at that already. Doesn't it look just yummy? I love the fact that we've got two levels of sweetness here. We've got the sugar and we've got the honey. Yeah. But the thing about honey is that it's got such a distinct taste that you'll actually be able to taste it in the cake. So you don't have to worry about it just dissipating and not being able to taste it. Exactly. There. So you get the flavor in here. And this is once again messy. If you've got a, if you've got like a beautiful cake mixer at home, you can definitely use that. So once again, I'm going to do like Anna Olsen. Okay. A bit of dry, a bit of wet, a bit of dry, a bit of wet till everything is finished. Let me just see, bring it together here. And remember, yes, I am whisking a lot now. Mm -hmm. But just remember, don't ever over mix your batter. Yeah. You know, that's what something we don't want. Very important. I, I can smell the vanilla in here. Mm -hmm. Do you like batter, cake batter, a raw cake batter? Why do you think I'm so nice and round, girl? Ah! Eh? Growing up, that was five, my favorite five, five, thing. Five, 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 five. <laughs> I love raw cake batter. Whenever my mom was baking stuff, I'd, or my grandmother, I'd always be in the kitchen, but not even helping or doing stuff. I would be cleaning up the bowls with my fingers and my tongues. Me so, as yeah. well. Tombs, and then when this is mixed and mm -hmm. or everything is inside here, yeah, all the flavors and stuff got together, you put it in your pan, preheated oven at our magic number, 
180. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For okay. about 30, 40 minutes till it's cooked through. But now you're going to decorate it so long. Yes, I'm going to try my hand at decorating it as beautifully it. as you. I'm not going to use all the ingredients, but this is about the consistency of the batter. I just want to put this in the pan. Show that, oh gosh, I can lick. Uh, can I have this bowl to lick? Well, I thought we were friends and the reason you were <laughs> asking me if I used to lick the bowl is because you wanted to share it with me. <laughs> I didn't think, like, like, that's not negotiable or anything. <laughs> you know, something I also like about the new clover is the different sizes. They come in 1.5 pack sizes. And I think the perfect thing about that is that if you live alone or if you have a small family, you don't have to worry about buying the big, um, the yes. big sizes. You can actually just buy the smaller ones and then mix it up there, you know, if you if small family, just smaller one, yeah. smaller liter. It's 1.5, right? Yes, 1.5, yes. and they've got this lovely handle. It makes it so easy. Easy And peeps, if you want the recipe, go to afternoonexpress.co.za. Yeah, bo. and I'm just going to make this beautiful cake even more beautiful because oh. it's beautiful on the inside with the honey and the milk. And I love the honey that we're putting... We've put the honey through the cream and we're going to drizzle honey all over it, honey, honey. <laughs> Girl, when we talk about the land of milk and honey, we are not joking, hey? This is it. This is it right here. I'm just going to put this in the oven, 180 for 30, 40 minutes. Voila. And, and that is it. The cake is done. It's, how long would it take to bake? About 30, 40 minutes. 30, and then if you want to minutes. taste, just see that it's, if you touch with a, a finger, that it just springs up or with a toothpick. And then you know it's ready. Ah, you know it's ready if the toothpick comes out clean. Okay, I think it's only fair since we all we both have our own cakes. I'll take this one home. You take the other one home. We're <laughs> sorted. <laughs> Thank right? you. So Drizzle like... that honey, honey. Look at that. <laughs> Yum. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And if you want to get yourself baking and ready to enjoy this deliciousness, go to afternoonexpress.co.za. <laughs> Nothing beats the long-lasting freshness and quality taste of Clover Fresh Milk. Made with love by Clover.